into that. I think that what we have is this double standard that's almost laughable. Because I, I heard Corey mention it a minute ago, and Sean Spicer actually mentioned it earlier. They say, oh, my God, he went to Mexico. He had a press conference, and he took questions. Yeah. I mean, that means that he's a diplomat. That means that he's strong. Where I mean. Hillary Clinton actually negotiated peace yeah. in Gaza. Um, I mostly stick to undocumented. Yeah, and let's, <laughs> let's this moment from Donald Trump uh, speaking about Hillary Clinton tonight. Listen. We are going to triple the number of ICE deportation officers. Within ICE, I am going to create a new special deportation task force focused on identifying and quickly removing the most dangerous criminal illegal immigrants in America who have evaded justice, just like Hillary Clinton has evaded justice, okay? Maybe they'll be able to deport her. Kirsten, maybe they'll be able to deport Hillary Clinton. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I don't... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, are you at a loss for I mean, what I don't. That that. It's, just, it's just so. How about we send her back to Arkansas? Juvenile. Okay, or something. You know, yeah, I, I, and exactly. then it's just not. I mean, look, this was sort of billed to us as, a, I thought, as a serious policy speech, and it, it didn't strike me as much of a serious policy speech. It was just more Donald Trump sort of ranting and raving. But we're talking about, about language. Mm -hmm. Does language like that, and anyone here on the panel, even Kirsten, does that detract from. Donald Trump's message when he says something like I don't think that particularly <laughs> I, that didn't detract I don't think I mean I think that he went off script uh, as yeah. Donald Trump is known to do I think there were more concerning things um, in the speech than than that little yeah. one off and I, I mean we can talk about some of the things that were in the speech that were un-American yeah, we about the way that we were going to vet yeah, different but, immigrants but not that language Don, in that will. particular clip in that particular clip he laid out a very specific policy Mm -hmm. I'm going to triple the number of ICE officers. That's very specific. And I agree with you, but I'm just okay. saying that at the end. And then every, yeah, I understand, you know, but, yeah. but look, let's sure. get back to the policy. So we'll take, the the, take away the rhetoric, yeah. and what we say is, I'm going to triple the number of ICE officers and put them on the border, not behind a desk. Yeah. That is a very specific, very achievable policy. And he said, I think he said he was going to go to 8,000, right? No, he said it's 5,000. 5,000 yeah, 5, more border agents. Yeah, but the said. Gang of Eight bill ca calls for yes, 20,000. So, right. so actually, so, so what's wrong with so these calls? But I mean, yeah. but I mean, are, are you going to? Are you going? I mean, but the Gang of Eight also knew and understood what the dilemma was and what the problem was. Here's so, the power's right. last last word in this spot. I, I mean, look, I don't think, I think it's unpresidential, I think would be the answer to the, your question, to say something like that. It, it just isn't something that most people think of when they think of a president saying something like that about, uh, you know, Hillary Clinton, who is his, you know, his opponent for sure, but you, I think we could just be a little more respectful. All right, possibly. let's talk policy when, when we come right back. Right after this break, we'll be right back. All right, back now discussing uh, the immigration speech uh, from Donald Trump in Arizona. Matt Schlapp is with me, Corey Lewandowski, Maria Cardona, and Bakari Sellers back with me. Okay, so here's my question. Um, he went to Mexico today. By all accounts, he looked, you know, like a diplomat. Mm. Very... Not by all accounts. <laughs> do you not, think, do you, you don't think, you don't think that part credit. of the day was a good part for so, him? So here's the problem with what happened today. And I've talked about this on your show, Don, and that is that the expectations for Donald Trump are under this studio, right? So he gets up on a stage and he doesn't fumble and he doesn't trip and he doesn't vomit on the president, Peña Nieto, and suddenly he looks presidential and, and then you after know, everything, after That's everything, true that he has said and done up until now. He read a script, he, he looked awkward doing it. Um, he clearly was not the Donald Trump that won the nomination. So clearly you don't think that that was I don't good. think it helped him at all. I you think don't. people saw through it. I think the people that he needed to attract saw absolutely I, right through it that it was opportunistic. Do you and think it, it helped him? Well, I, I think a senior advisor to the Trump campaign called it what it was, which yeah, was a photo op. That's right. But I do think that he does get some benefit out of that photo op. I think that although he, you know, flip-flopped on, on NAFTA. You know, he was talking about ripping up and cutting up NAFTA. Then today he said he wanted to build on NAFTA. Um, and then we talked about the wall and him not even asking about, uh, asking the Mexican yeah. president to pay for it. But I do think every image in tomorrow morning's paper is going mm -hmm. to be the image of him standing next to the Mexican president. And I think that that does help. But I think that if Donald Trump was edging towards being more presidential 
at three o'clock, mm -hmm. that kind of dissipated yeah. as the night wore on. Yeah, I, I, I saw earlier you guys were on 360 and someone, uh, was it uh, Jeffrey Lord saying that he was Reagan-esque? Yeah. Oh, my God. oh yeah, no. <laughs> well, it's it is Jeffrey. Look, but, listen, but I actually think that, I actually think watching it uh, at home, that it was a good moment today you can't have uh, a, yeah. for, for Donald Trump. And I, I especially think so, coming off the heels of Baton Rouge, where Hillary Clinton did not go as well. Look, he, he outlined five very specific points when he was in Mexico today. Number one, he said we're going to stop illegal immigration. Number two, we're going to secure the border. Number three, we're going to dismantle drug cartels. Number four, we're going to improve NAFTA. And we're going to raise standards for everybody. And number five, we're going to keep manufacturing in this hemisphere. I don't know how Hillary Clinton could be opposed to any of those things, first and foremost. Then you know what he did today? He did something Hillary Clinton hasn't done in 267 days. He, press he took no. <laughs> he, took he took questions, questions from the media that weren't well, scripted. That were, hey, who has a question? And I saw Jim Acosta there, and I saw other members of the mainstream media who were there, and they get to ask him a question, and it wasn't controlled, and he answered those I, questions. I this is a that, clear I, dichotomy I, from the Clinton okay, narrative. Okay, let me say this, and not that I'm um, defending Hillary Clinton. She also took questions from the um, National NABJ, Association, National Association of Black she Journalists, did. and about the same number, if not a couple more. Than, than Donald Trump and did, she's been on but all she the also shows. got in question in trouble with that questioning because yes. the whole email mm -hmm. thing came up and she uh, right. sort of fumbled she gave through the a, answer yet another yeah. different answer. But I also thought it was great that he did it in front of the Mexican press. But the uh, here's the thing, I think you can't have it both ways, Miriam. My view would be there was a different tone from the rally speech to what he did in Mexico, and uh, if you like the toned down, more thoughtful Donald Trump. Give him credit for that. I mean, he got through uh, written remarks like you do in a diplomatic uh, event like that. And uh, I actually think a lot of people looked at that. A lot of liberals that I saw on Twitter complimented him. They thought he did a great job. Here's the thing. That is a Donald Trump <laughs> that I think that uh, liberals and Hillary Clinton supporters are afraid of. And the more they see of that Which Donald one Trump, they the more afraid. afraid. <laughs> I, don't think that, I don't think that they're afraid. I think they think that tonight, having listened to everyone here, that tonight speech was more of the same. It was more of Donald Trump yeah. seeing it, Donald Trump. Me, I but I think today, earlier, it was him being more diplomatic and looking so they, more presidential. So they think that it's a more fearsome political... Ask them. Well, yeah. well, <laughs> I, 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 I just have to say this, because as we, before, we, yeah, yeah. before Maria wades into that, I think that what we have is this double standard that's almost laughable. Because I, I heard Corey mention it a minute ago, and Sean Spicer actually mentioned it earlier. They say, oh my God, he went to Mexico, he had a press conference, and he took questions. Yeah. I mean, that means that he's a diplomat. That means that he's strong. Where mean. Hillary Clinton actually negotiated peace yeah. in Gaza. Yeah. Hillary Clinton actually put a 120 country compact together on climate change. I mean, this is somebody who's yeah. actually been Not on the world. The Hold campaign. on one second. And, 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 and actually, you know, had some success Donald on the world Trump stage. built a $10 billion oh, company. No one's and, looking and this, at that. And this, I think, is the point. <laughs> I mean, that's Clearly, all right. I mean, and, and, and what I mean by when people will really see through this, at least the people that he needs to attract, it was, like I've said all day today, an Ave Maria pass, because he needed to shake things up, because he has seen the national polls, he has seen the battleground polls, he has seen how badly he is doing with all the key demographics that he needs to win in order to win. So he needed to shake things up. It was seen a little bit as a desperation move. The, the picture might have worked, and that's exactly what they wanted. They weren't work. after substance. They weren't after but real Maria, negotiations. He didn't do anything. Here's what I think, in, in my humble estimation, that, that uh, Hillary Clinton supporters and Democrats are missing. And no matter what business you're in, in this business you're only as good as your last show, your last ratings, you're only as good as your last live shot. You're only, if you're an author, you're only as good as your last book. If you're a columnist, you're only as good as your last column. You're only in, in this particular campaign, mm -hmm. when optics are a big part of it, you're mm -hmm. only as good as the optics that you're seeing. And Hillary Clinton gave a speech today, we haven't even talked about it. But see, I completely disagree with that, because that means you are discounting all of the conversations but both her and frankly Donald Trump are having with voters the problem no, no, is no we're the, talking the, we're talking about today i'm just talking about you're talking about, talking about the, you're talking about a picture right. and 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 sure hillary clinton did not dominate the media but she was in ohio giving an important speech and mm -hmm. actually talking to voters, which is what, what she, she does every speech? single day. She was actually what was important that actually, she said today. She, she actually mentioned she actually American talked and she did talk about actually. she talked about Benghazi. She talked and about and diplomacy. Was, yeah. She talked about her role in Benghazi. She talked yeah, about she diplomacy. Just, she she talked Benghazi. about how it was to an American Legion where Donald Trump's actually giving his speech tomorrow. tomorrow. That's right. Yeah, she, I mean 
It was she, a legitimate. She, she talked about how it is not credible for you to pop into one of our most important trading partners after you have insulted them for 400 days. Why didn't she go? Why didn't she accept because the president's she invitation? Because she doesn't need to prove anything. She of course knows, she does. She's she running knows, for president of the United States. She knows, she's also the, yeah. she knows the president, president Peña Nieto. So why would he invite her if he didn't well. want her to come down? He, she has said that she will go meet with him at the appropriate time. This is the appropriate not time she's something. running. Yeah. She knows that the American Here, people understand that okay. she can be a diplomat, that she can Stand be presidential Here's on the Here's my question that I want all of you to ponder going into the break when when it's this close mm -hmm. everything counts in large amounts what was that was that the pesh mode was that everything counts <laughs> it does everything counts in large amounts so i think and i think everything counts now when you get this yeah. close and the polls are this yeah close. we'll discuss when we come right back